Hello and welcome to the workshop. Thank you for stopping by, tuning in. We appreciate you very, very much. If you are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. We do a brand new video almost every single day. So if you love sneakers, you've come to the right place. You can also find me on Twitter and Instagram at Mr. Fomer Simpson. And if you enjoy this video, if you wanna see more videos like this or just wanna support what we're doing, then please do us a huge favor and hit that thumbs up button. It really does go a long way. So thank you in advance. And with that said, no more time to waste. Buckets, do you wanna do the drum roll? No. Do you wanna do the countdown? No. All right, so Buckets is not excited, but I am. Three, two, one, bang, bang. The Air Jordan one low, Dior. These released recently and retail was $2,000, two grand. And that's not even the resale prices. That's just what you're paying if you were lucky enough to win the raffle. I was not. I entered, swing and a miss. I never received that email back from Dior. Cue the sad Adele music in the background. Swing and a miss. What do we call that, Buckets? A whiff -a roo A whiff -a roo the good old fashioned whiff -a roo <laughs> Unfortunately, this pair is not my size either. So close yet so far. Shouts to our friends over at Kicks R for us for tossing us this pair to review. I'm sure if you tune in regularly, you've heard us mention them a bunch. We've done a lot of business with them over the years. If you are in the Tampa area, make sure you check them out. And if not, then we will put their website and social media info in the description of this video and you can check them out virtually, so to speak. Now this sneaker, it goes without saying, the hype on these is through the roof. The hype is in outer space somewhere. That's how hyped up these are. This is the low top version. There is also a high top version that released simultaneously. As a matter of fact, leave a comment below right now if you want to see us do a review on the high top and we can make that happen. In fact, maybe that will be tomorrow's video if enough of you want to see it. It's funny because when I initially saw pictures, I actually liked the low top more, which is weird for me, but I've had a change of heart. I think the high top is a lot better. That's not to say that the low isn't dope. I just think at the end of the day, I'm a Jordan 1 high kind of guy. And when it comes to the low tops, I'm just never gonna like them quite as much. Now let's run through some of the details and then we can discuss things a little bit further. So for starters, you see the colors, white and gray, and it's a much different leather than we're used to on the Jordan 1. It's a much thicker leather. Dior print on the swoosh, that's kind of almost the main feature, if you will. and then the edge of the swoosh is stitched all the way around. More Dior print on the tongue, but it's a bit more subtle. Dior Air on the tongue tag, and it's super silky to the touch. I love the way that feels. Flat gray laces, silver tips, Air Dior Wings logo on the heel. I love that. Same logo on the left outsole. Dior in big letters on the other outsole, and the bottoms are both icy, as you can see. And then there are all the extras that come along with these as well. Plastic shoe trees, 
extra laces, metal hang tags. Each come in this little Air Dior bag. There's even an extra set of insoles with the Dior print. Individual dust bags for each sneaker. This Dior card and the box is very luxurious as well. I think they're dope, I do. But I feel like with sneakers like this one, these specifically, I guess, there's basically two reactions. Either, yes, those are the best Jordans ever created, or those completely suck. Those are garbage. I'm not on either end of that spectrum. I just think they're dope. I think it's awesome to see Jordan brand collaborate with a high-end designer brand like Dior. I just think it's a cool mix, kind of meshing two different worlds, if you will. And if you tune in regularly, then you know how I feel about the Jordan 1. It's one of my favorite sneakers of all time, just the Jordan 1 model in and of itself. And I feel like these look more high-end than a normal Jordan 1. Maybe that's obvious, but they do. They have a different feel to them, and I think that that was obviously intentional. Buckets, do you agree with that? Yeah, kind of. Not really? It looks like a Jordan 1 low with like a special swoosh. Not blown away by the quality. Yeah, quality's okay. Buckets is not impressed, but uh, if you know Buckets, then that's not gonna be a surprise to you. Do I think these are the best Jordan sneakers of all time? In the words of the late, great Bishop Bullwinkle, hell to the nah, to the nah, nah, nah. No way, I do not. They're probably not even the best Jordan sneaker this year, but they are certainly the most hyped. No question about that. And I don't think that's a surprise to any of us, not me, not Buckets who was behind the camera, and not you. We all saw it coming from a mile away. Now, do they deserve the hype? That's a good question, but I can tell you why they are as expensive as they are. And you probably already know, that's because you're paying for the Dior name. You know, we've done a lot of different designer brand videos, whether it be Gucci, whether it be Balenciaga, you're paying for that name. And I'm not knocking anyone who does. I own some designer stuff myself. And you're paying for the exclusivity that kind of comes with that. These are also limited to 8,500 pairs and every pair is numbered. So just that whole thing, everything that they created with this collaboration, it's gonna result in crazy hype and crazy hype results in crazy money to spend. That doesn't mean that it isn't a dope sneaker. It just means that Dior and Jordan are able to charge a lot more for them. This is actually a sneaker that I would love to wear. And again, if you watch our videos, if you tune in, then you know we really wear our sneakers down here at the workshop. We wear them and wear them hard. I would love to do that with these, specifically the high top version, but I think about the fact that with that same amount of money, I, I could buy my mom a car, something like that. These are so expensive for me personally, I don't think I would be comfortable really wearing them and beating them up. I'm not sure exactly what my price limit is, I just know that these are probably way beyond that. Buckets, do you agree with that? Yeah. Just too much money to wear. Way too much. I mean, you could buy a 96 Impala SS. You could buy your favorite car, the El Camino, and just be cruising and have enough money for probably like three months of unlimited Taco Bell, something like that. I mean, I don't want Taco Bell, but yeah. All right, so Buckets is grumpy. On a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give these an 8.2. Like I said, I like the high top a bit more, but I still do think this is dope. It's a premium high-end look on the Jordan 1. I love the Dior name. I love the Jordan name. To me, it's a dope sneaker. Buckets, I know you're not gonna think these are an 8.2. So where are you coming at? Scale of one to 10, what say you? Four, probably. Wow, four out of 10. Buckets is not impressed. The anti-hype beast, a four out of 10. Wow, I'm curious to know, we'll save it for tomorrow potentially, but 
I'm curious to know what your rating will be on the Jordan 1 Dior high because I know you love Jordan 1 highs. But we'll save that for tomorrow. Let us know how you feel. How do you feel about this collaboration? How do you feel about this sneaker specifically? How do you feel about Jordan 1s in general? And what are your thoughts on the resale prices, the retail price? Do you like the low top? Do you like the high top? However you are feeling right now, Leave a comment below and let us know. Always love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. You are very, very appreciated. I don't just say that to say it either. We really, really do appreciate you. Thank you for tuning in. We will be back tomorrow. Manana. Same time, same place right here at the workshop with a brand new sneaker for your head top. I got nothing else. Buckets, anything from you? No. Adios.